Hi everybody, I'm Kazim and today I want to talk about my experience failing my first Google Cloud Platform GCP certification exam. Let's check it out. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I've spent most of my holidays learning about Google Cloud Platform GCP. Yeah, I practice using the 90 days GCP trial account. When you create a trial account, you get a $300 credit to try out many of the services on GCP, which was what I did. I learned it with some of the LinkedIn learning courses on GCP. And because I already know Azure, so my approach to learning it was somewhat a little bit unorthodox. While I studied with the LinkedIn learning videos, so in between, I'll check, for example, what are the available compute services on GCP? What are those services called and how do I set it up? Once I learned it, I'll try to practice and go through it on my own again and so on. And then I worked with some practice questions just to familiarize myself with the structure of the GCP exam questions. Before taking the exam, I learned and practiced for about two weeks. So, and I felt I was now confident to take the exam. So I booked my exam. And by the way, the name of the exam is Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer. Unlike Microsoft exams that are administered by Person VUE, uh, the Google certification exams are administered by Criterion. So I wrote the exams a few days back, but unfortunately, I failed it. It's not my first time of failing a certification exam, but one thing that was frustrating was that at the end of the exam, there was no report to show or to give an hint on areas that I needed to improve on. All I received was, you didn't pass. Unlike the Microsoft certification exam that I'm more familiar with, where you get a report showing areas that you need to improve and do more work. So Google, I think you need to improve on that. I feel it helps if test takers know what they did right and where they fell short so that they can focus on those areas. Something else that was frustrating for me was how many times I got rescheduled for the exam. I was rescheduled for up to five times. I'm not exaggerating. I was only able to take the certification exam after my fifth unsuccessful attempt. There was a lot of back and forth about my audio not working well, my video not working well. Even after testing, rebooting my system and everything from my end seems very fine. The proctor still complain about either my audio or my video not working. And this is the same system that I use for most of my Microsoft exams and I don't run into this kind of issues. Anyways, I failed the exam and I plan to retake the exam in a few days and hopefully I pass it then. So if you're thinking of taking a GCP exam, it's a good idea to consider using a testing center. This might help you avoid some of the potential issues that you might encounter if you decide to write the exam at home. Testing center can provide additional support and resources if needed. Whether it's your first time taking a GCP exam or you're an experienced test taker, using a testing center can ensure that you have a smooth and successful exam experience. All right, that's about it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and share, and let me know about your own GCP experience as well in the comment section down below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.